This is our one live Trap City, this is our one live vehicle turnover upon Don Robin Avenue. Don Robin Avenue, this is a chat of foolishness. Boulevard. Welcome. If you're new via here, be sure to click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified about videos uploaded from this channel. The topics that we'll be discussing today, police inspector found dead in Manchester, Chippy killed at a party and more. It has been reported that a man who goes by the name of Chippy was shot and killed at an illegal party in St. Anne with a female. Now people, a lot of different stories really are surround this incident. I see a lot of people on social media say it is because somebody stepped on him clocks in the party and one altercation developed over that. I see an exit of people that say he is involved in some criminal activities. Bear in mind, none of this information has not yet been confirmed by the police nor a family member. So we're really not sure what is the reason behind the attack, but as old people always say, if in a gusso, in near gusso. So just for clear the air or for the ones that were confused, two persons was shot and killed at an illegal party in St. Anne. The guy who goes by the name of Chippy, and another female to me the two of them look like them in a them early 20s but me still i wonder when the people them gonna learn say them for stay at them yard the party not have no permit turn your yard if you involve in a any criminal activities turn on a yard if you a family member involved stay home but said for tell you no, if them can't catch Guaco, them will get you shot. And if you are their rival and them can't catch you in at the party, nobody feel like such a wolf of people dead, them not gonna turn up on the stay on the yard. Stop put other people life in danger. If I close on a want for put on so bad, wanna put it on on the yard. If one want to drink little liquor, wanna send God the nearest corner shop, go buy them or the nearest wholesale, carry it home, I wanna have a flask. It's just that simple. I will not give on the three points some of the time and think a joke thing over here saying. You know? When the bullet catch you in the wrong place, there is no turning back. We don't just keep that upstairs and on the head. And if them well want to know, then we come on the yard too, you know, cause you have some crazy ones out there. But at least innocent people won't get hurt. So viewers and subscribers, I have a quick update on a story I did yesterday. About a 26-year-old Rashid Myers, he is 30 years old. He is from a Spanish town, St. Catherine. He was shot and killed on Banana Lane, Lake Spain, Spanish town, on Sunday, December 26, about 11.53 a.m. As I said earlier, this is just an update because I have now received the video. If you want more details on the incident, all you have to do is check back yesterday's video. And go and listen it until you hear it. No, me gonna make on the ear what go on on the crime scene. <laughs> 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 to all the lady in the background attack, it seems as if some war go on in the area. Or she knows something when nobody no know. You hear what she say? Why am I the round the lane? That no sound too right. But viewers and subscribers, the video is available. If you are interested in seeing the unedited version of the video, wanna follow the usual procedure. Go down in the description where you will see a link to the Chop City Telegram group. Just click on the link. You automatically join the group and the video will be there waiting on you. If you don't know how, for go down in the description and you're interested in seeing it, just run on over to our Instagram page at Chop City TV. That is C-H-O-P-C-I-T-Y underscore TV. Enter us there follow the page. Then you send us a message asking for the link and it will be provided to you as soon as possible. Moving right along. The occupants of a two vehicle crash on Washington Boulevard in St. Andrew has been rushed to the hospital. It is unclear what caused the collision. The condition of those hospitalized is currently unknown at this time. This is one year live, Trap City. This is one year live. Vehicle turnover upon Don Rabin Avenue. Don Rabin Avenue, this is a chat of foolishness. Boulevard, turnover. <laughs> 
Yeah, look at me, I do, man. Watch out. Be a thing I go on Chop City. Watch out, man. Be a thing I go on around that Chop City. So, when you're live, watch there, man. Watch there. That mash up. I know if you don't see what I go on in about everything, mash up. Don't rub in this up on here. Not. Again, if you're interested in seeing the full unedited version of this video, all you have to do, go down in the description where you will see the link to the CHOP City Telegram group. Just click on the link, you automatically join the group and the video will be there waiting on you. If you don't know how to go down in the description and you're interested in seeing it, just run on over to our Instagram page at CHOP City TV, that is C-H-O-P-C-I-T-Y underscore TV. Send us a message asking for the link and it will be provided to you as soon as possible. Police say they are awaiting an autopsy report to determine the cause of death after a retired police inspector decomposing body was found on Monday at his home in Manchester. He has been identified as 59-year-old Raymond Palmer. Head of the Manchester Police told our news team that Palmer's neighbours alerted the police after smelling a foul odour coming from his house. Further information suggested that Palmer reported lived alone. The police said they do not suspect any foul play at this early stage in the investigation. One man has been charged following the seizure of a firearm and several rounds of ammunition on 9th Street in Trenchtown on Monday, December 27. Child with illegal possession of firearm and illegal possession of ammunition is 24-year-old Raymond, otherwise called Prince. Reports from the Demantown police are that about 5.45 p.m., a team was on patrol in the area when they observed Raymond with an handgun. On their approach, he threw the firearm onto a nearly by premises before attempting to flee the scene. He was accosted, the premises was searched, and one Taurus 9mm pistol and eight 9mm cartridges was discovered. Investigations are ongoing. Views and subscribers, I hear time now. I would love to hear what are your thoughts on all these stories down below in the comment section. And remember, everybody opinion valid. So nobody afraid to leave your thoughts down there. We have made it to the end of our next video. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next time. I'm out to stay blessed and stay safe.